the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. Can you even imagine finding yourself in the valley surrounded by bones? Like a battle with ancient armies had taken place there and the bodies had decomposed over time and now there's just the bones of the dead soldiers all around you. And all of a sudden there's a rattling of the bones and they start to come together like a scene from Pirates of the Care to be reading your Bible with me in Ezekiel 37. And all of a sudden God tells you to speak to the bones, breathe, uh, live, and and now the bones come alive. A great army of bony soldiers. That's what we're reading about today in Ezekiel 37. you're really reading Ezekiel with me, and I want to thank all of you who are reading. And if you're just watching these videos and not reading, you need to take a look in the book. Because Ezekiel 37, that's today's chapter, this is the stuff that sci-fi dystopian apocalyptic thrillers are made of right here. Resurrected bone armies for the win, everybody. And if you read through carefully, chapter 37 verses 1 to 14, you're going to notice this Hebrew word that we've been learning in the book of Ezekiel, ruah. It's the word that means spirit, or we've seen it mean wind. And that's the idea that the wind of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord just carries Ezekiel and he finds himself in a valley. So we're outside here walking around at Irvine Regional Park trying to get the feel of being in the valley of bones. Now this word ruah, this is the key word of Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. It's used 10 times in the 14 verses. And it doesn't just mean winds or spirit, it means breath. See, it's the ruah that's gonna get into the bones and make them breathe, make them come alive. Underline every time you see breathe in your Bible, cause that's the ruah, it's the energy, it's the power of God coming into the, the bones to bring about resurrection from death to life. It happens through the ruah, the spirit of God. And that's something we should really think about. As we pick up our study of Ezekiel, we've learned that we have a new heart and God put his spirit within us. So it's like there's breath, there's wind that has come into you. And you have now this energy, this power filling you up and making you alive. Hey, we might be in the Valley of Bones, but we should be walking around with the Ruach of the Lord within us today. You have the spirit of the living God. Now there are a lot of thoughts out there about the meaning of Ezekiel 37. What are you and I supposed to think about this rattling resurrection bone army that's coming together there in the valley? Well, one thing that's clear is this has given the people of Israel hope that there is a future for their nation. Like in the context here, they are feeling cut off. They are saying our hope is lost. Verse 11, our bones are dried up. Like Jerusalem's been destroyed. We're exiled in other nations like Babylon. There's no future for Israel. And God's trying to give his people hope. In fact, he goes so far as to say, they're no longer gonna be two kingdoms. We've learned about the Northern Kingdom of Israel, the Southern Kingdom of Judah. It's not gonna be like any that anymore. They're gonna be one nation and they're gonna have one king, one shepherd that will reign over them. Prophecy alert here, verse 24, we're talking about my servant David shall be king over them. They shall have one shepherd. Who's that everybody? We're talking about Jesus Christ reigning in a future kingdom for Israel. So that's a prophecy here. 
that God is gonna be with his people in the land. He's gonna bring the people back to the land and King David or Jesus, the long prophesied Messiah, is going to reign in a literal kingdom in Israel. Okay, but that, that's not all that it's saying here in Ezekiel 37. Because God is saying in verses 12 to 14, go look at it again. He's saying that the people are gonna rise out of their graves. Okay, so he's prophesying here about a physical resurrection of the body. Not just that you'll live when your soul leaves your body, that you'll live in the presence of God, but that your body that's been buried there in the ground, it's in a tomb, well, the spirit, the wind, the breath is going to come back to that body and the body will rise from the dead. If you're a Christian, you believe in resurrection. You believe in the resurrection on the third day of Jesus Christ from the dead as an historical event, but you also believe in your future resurrection of your body, that your soul will be reunited with your body, which will rise from the grave and you will live forever in the presence of Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen to the resurrection from anybody out here in the Valley of Bones, right? This is something that we believe in. I mean, let's just think through. At this time of Ezekiel 37, there's already been resurrection in the prophets. We've already seen Elijah and Elisha raise people from the dead. Jesus is gonna do that in his ministry in the Gospels. He raises multiple people back to life from the dead. And then we know that Jesus on the third day, he is not here. The stone is rolled away. The tomb is empty, everybody, because Jesus is alive, right? Over 500 eyewitnesses observed the resurrected Lord Jesus. In fact, if you read the accounts where Jesus died on the cross, it says that bodies came out of the tombs and started walking around. Resurrection happened even at the moment of crucifixion. When he died on the cross, there were bodies walking around, resurrected. Now, key cross-reference I want you to all go read right now is Revelation chapter 20 where it talks about the millennium. And people debate this, whether we should interpret it symbolically or literally, but it's a time period of a thousand years where Jesus is gonna reign in Israel. I think it's the kingdom that Ezekiel 37 is prophesying. And if you read Revelation 20, the first few verses there, you're gonna see that there will be a resurrection in that future kingdom, that bodies will rise out of the graves that where there was death, there will be life. And the believers are going to experience the blessing of this first resurrection and they will reign with Jesus for a thousand years. See, I'm talking about your bones and my bones and everybody's bones who believe that Jesus rose from the dead. Someday God's gonna breathe. God's gonna bring that wind, that spirit into us and we're gonna rise out of the graves and reign with Jesus Christ in a future kingdom of resurrection. That, I believe, is the prophecy of Ezekiel 37, that you get to be a part of the future kingdom of Israel in the reign of Jesus Christ. So this might sound sci-fi, but this is your future. It is written, so let it be read and let it be believed and let us all look forward to our future resurrection.